सेव किया था ना मैं सिर्फ इसलिए गया था क्योंकि उसने मुझे कॉल किया दैट्स इट बट लिसन तो सेव इट फॉर समवन एल्स जिंदगी में सेव करना जरूरी है मगर जब बात पैसों की हो सिर्फ सेविंग से काम नहीं चलेगा इक्विटी म्यूचुअल फंड्स में इन्वेस्ट कीजिए और अपने सेविंग्स को आगे बढ़ने का मौका दीजिए म्यूचुअल फंड इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल स्कीम रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट्स केयरफुली सम पीपल ऑलवेज सीम टू बी वेरी अट्रैक्टिव टू मस्कीटो इवन वेन इन ग्रुप बट वाई दिस इज सो हैज एन एग्जैक्टली बिन अंडरस्टूड येट There have been many studies over the years about what draws mosquitoes to a human and what repels them. We know some facts like mosquitoes are attracted to people who sweat more. They are also attracted to carbon dioxide that we exhale. We also know that they like dark colors like black and navy blue and actually even bold colors like red or colors that stand out like floral prints. Mosquitoes also like pregnant people more and people who have consumed alcohol especially beer. They like heat and water vapor as well. There's a lot that they seem to like and different mosquito species have different preferences. But these patterns are not always consistent. We have not identified the exact specific molecules that mosquitoes are attracted to. Sometimes even when someone's wearing black mosquitoes prefer someone else next to them and of course scientists are constantly trying to figure out what mosquitoes like and what they don't like and these scientists are actually getting pretty good at it right now in this latest study from Rockefeller University researchers have performed chemical analysis on smells from human skin that are highly attractive to mosquitoes along with genetic analyses of the Aedes aegypti mosquitoes themselves turns out Mosquitoes seem to be attracted to carboxylic acid that is released by the human skin and even when these mosquitoes are altered genetically to have some mutations in their olfactory system they can identify highly attractive people let's have a look The Aedes aegypti mosquito is a very big vector of mosquito borne diseases It spreads diseases like chikungunya, dengue, yellow fever, Zika, and in fact about 54 viruses and two species of Plasmodium. It also transmits diseases among animals. This species of mosquito, the Aedes aegypti, originated in Africa and then through the slave trade spread across the rest of the world. Even today they are found in the warmer parts of most of the world's countries and they are extremely adapted to hunting human bodies. Of the species also females bite humans of course and a single female bites as many humans as possible in its 3 to 6 week long life span every 4 days this female lays eggs the female mosquitoes have a very strong drive for hunting humans and they use exhaled carbon dioxide body heat and skin odor as cues body heat and carbon dioxide of course indicate that a living warm blooded animal is present but skin odor actually helps identify if the animal is human or not and how healthy the animal is there have been constant studies on the subject the blood type studies for example have proven inconclusive but pregnancy studies and studies on people who have had beer definitely indicate that these people are more attractive to mosquitoes these smells and odors come from our skin and the smells actually interact with the skin microbiota or the billions of microorganisms that actually live on our skin but what exactly about these attractive smelling people do mosquitoes like what particular smell do they gravitate to the human skin is a combination of odors from many organic compounds These combination of smells and these individual compounds are not documented in detail fully. We don't know if people who are highly attractive emit something that attracts mosquitoes more than others or if those who are unattracted to mosquitoes produce something that repels them more than others or both. We have so far not identified a single molecule which we can say with confidence definitely attracts or repels a mosquito. However, carboxylic acids seem to be playing a role for sure especially on our skin. In this study, the researchers collected body scents of 64 volunteers. These people wore nylon stockings on both their arms. The team then cut the stockings into 2 inch pieces and then they placed two pieces behind two separate doors or trap doors in a clear container. This container already has a lot of mosquitoes flying in it. 
When the researchers opened the trapdoor and exposed the fabric to the mosquitoes, these mosquitoes would choose to fly to the stockings of some volunteers. The team conducted this study for over three years and had over 2,330 trials on 174 different days. The researchers found some patterns and identified some things that didn't make a difference. For example, whether the volunteers used their right arm or the left arm for the stockings did not matter. Similarly, how sweaty a person was didn't matter as well. Even when people used cologne or perfume to cover up their body odor, it did not matter to the mosquitoes. But the team found that the mosquitoes did exhibit preference for some people's nylon stockings. One person called Subject 28 attracted the least number of mosquitoes, while another person called Subject 33 had a nearly 100% hit rate. All mosquitoes would fly to Subject 33's stockings. From these trials that went on for over three years, the authors concluded that those who have higher levels of carboxylic acids on their skin are more likely to be mosquito magnets. Carboxylic acid is produced by sebum or body oil or body wax and this in turn is then broken down by the body's microbiota, the skin's microbiota, which then produces more carboxylic acid. Additionally, mosquitoes that lack many smell receptors in their genes still exhibited preferences for who they found very attractive and least attractive. Even those mosquitoes that had mutations which significantly altered their olfactory abilities were able to tell the difference between highly attractive people and least attractive people. The scientists used CRISPR to generate mutant mosquitoes which had some genes for their olfactory reception disabled and they also used this to identify genes that would reduce the mosquito's ability to find a person attractive. But this seemed to have only a marginal effect. The researchers concluded that higher levels of three particular carboxylic acids are more attractive to mosquitoes and the composition of carboxylic acids on the skin of a person remains consistent over several years. The only thing that seems to alter the composition is the microbiome on the skin which is influenced by factors like hygiene, food, exercise and more. However, the authors still clarify that it is impossible to say that it is only the skin's carboxylic acid content that causes specific humans to be extremely attractive to mosquitoes. It is also unclear how these smells work across long distances and if there are mosquito magnets that have been missed because the stockings only recorded the smell from human skin. But all that said, the findings are still very helpful and insightful. They confirm some of the previously identified carboxylic acids that caused mosquitoes to be less attracted to some people, further identification of many other compounds and other carboxylic acids which are both highly attractive and which repel mosquitoes can help scientists come up with a good way to keep mosquitoes at bay and keep humans safe from their bites.